all of you, when it comes to the uh, product costing, I mean, uh, we have done with the creation of material master and the pricing controls. OK, now our uh, important topic is. Bill of materials, activities and routing. OK, so go to the word document. Huh? Uh, in that, try to write down a uh, bill of materials. Right. So bill of materials, comma activities and routing. Bill of materials, comma activity and routing. OK, uh, I will just give you the introduction to the bill of materials, activities, routing and uh, overheads also all of you. Uh, you can just write down ma'am, bill of materials and uh, activities and routing comma overheads. So basically all of you, we need to have quantity for each and every material that we have created. OK, so bill of material is nothing but the components of finished goods and quantity. OK, so what are all those components of finished goods? OK, so you have seen the. Um, motherboards, OK. And um, when it comes to the laptop, OK, what is the activity like sol uh, soldiering activity, assembling activity, quality of check activity, um, OS installations and packing? So you have uh, different types of things, right? So we need to perform various activities to process the bill of materials. OK, everything is perfect. So uh we need to link all these together that means those uh, whatever the activities that we have like soldiering activity assembling activity quality check activity and uh, os installation activity and packing activity whatever the things that we have uh, we need to link uh, all these together and that we can call it as a routing okay you got my point. See, routing is nothing but they are a few timing. OK, suppose you have routing like a soldiering activity you have. And what is the time for that routing? Suppose if it is 30 minutes. OK, 30 minutes is allocated to the soldiering activity. OK, is nothing but the uh, routings. OK, so when you are applying the time to that particular activity, OK, that we can call it as a routing. OK, the next one is assembling for assembling. So uh, it has to take minimum uh, one hour to two hours minutes. Or any 30 minutes or 40 minutes, anything. OK, one hour 30 minutes, one hour 40 minutes and one hour 60 minutes, like two hours. OK. So the next one is for the quality check. Um, for the OS installation and for the packing, everything is interrelated to the routing concept as well as the bill of material as well as the activities. OK, so 
the most important point is that all of you materials are nothing but the, you have created the material a laptop you have created the material uh, motherboard you have created the materials uh, um, like monitor like mouse anything okay so you have already created right so what is the activity okay is it a assembling activity is it a quality check activity is it a voice installation activity is it a packing activity Okay, what is the type? Okay, is it a soldiering activity? Is machine type? Okay, uh, for the assembling, machine can assemble. Okay, for the quality check, labor can do the quality checks. Okay, for the OS installations, uh, labor will do the OS installations. For the packing, machine also can packing that thing. Okay, so this is the type of uh, things that we have. OK, and we need to link all this together that we can call it as a routing, you know it very well. OK, so what are all those uh, overheads? OK, whenever you are having the. Uh, four percent, suppose that percentage of material cost is nothing but the material overheads. OK, um, then percentage of total activity cost is nothing but the production overheads. You got my point right all of you so uh, you just write down um, you just write down Uh, yeah, activities. You can just write down activities. Or else uh, I will share you the OK, no worries. Uh, try to write down. Uh, activities uh, come down in that. Try to write down materials. Hmm. Materials means what all of you suppose uh, if it is a motherboard. Try to give the motherboard. Mm, come a laptop. OK, uh, suppose. Uh, and everything is uh, uh, motherboard is the main thing all of you and then uh, laptop is the assembling activities and all so these are all the materials i mean two uh, these two are the materials suppose uh, for example then next one activity try to write down the activity in that activity so you have a soldiering activity uh, s o l d e r i ng hmm, these are the activities uh, or else uh, try to remove the activities above point and uh, after materials just give activity put a hyphen Before the soldiering, just give activity, give hyphen. No, 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 no. Before soldiering. Before soldiering means what? Hmm. Try to write down activity. Hmm. Give hyphen. 
remove that law activity go up remove that activities also Mm, so soldiering activity then next one is uh, um assembling next one is after soldiering activity comma assembling activity no no after soldiering activity put comma give assembling activity these are the activities The next one is quality check. Assembling activity, quality check. Next one is quality check. Quality check and comma OS installation. OS installation. I-N-S-T-A-L-L-A-T-I-O-N. Remove the relation. OS installation, not relation. Comma packing. Mm. Click on the enter. The next one is type. What is the type? Types. Types. Mm. First one is a machine. For the uh, soldiering activity, it's a machine type. For the assembling machine, comma. No, 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 ma'am. After types, you can just give hyphen, and after that hyphen, you can just give machine. Machine, comma, machine. See, so for the assembling activity, it's also a machine. Machine, not the M A C H A I N E. M A C H I N E. Um, remove the E, just give A M A C H I N E. Machine, comma, once again, give M A N C H I N E. Mum, comma, once again, M A C H A N E. Comma, for quality check activity, it's a labor. L A B O U R. Hmm, give labor. L A L A B O U R. What I am saying is, Above activity is there, right? After see after assembling activity, you have the quality check, right? For that quality check, we have the type that is labor. Okay, comma. For the OS installation, it is also a labor. No, 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 ma'am. For the OS installation, above point is we have done right activity for the OS installations. We have the labor type. Remove the OS installation here in the types. Mm. Just give labor, one more labor. Type is one more labor. 
the next one is machine. For the packing, it's a machine. Comma machine. Then click on the enter. Another point is overheads. Overheads. In that overhead, what we need to do is um, click on the enter. It is a material overhead. First one is material overhead. Material overhead. Comma. Comma production overhead. Production overhead. Basically, all of you material overheads, it's uh, the percentage of material cost is nothing but the material overheads. OK, the percentage of activity cost is nothing but the production overheads. So those all are uh, very, very important. OK, so that is most common point that we have. Suppose. When it comes to the routing, OK, so please try to write down. Please try to write down. So routing concept is nothing but the other few. Uh, the cost of that particular thing. OK, the cost of the uh, activities like soldiering, assembling and quality check OS installations and packings. OK, in that you will going to have time. You will going to have electricity. You will going to have salaries. You will going to have rent. You will going to have total um, expenses. OK, you will going to have units. You will you will going to have cost per unit. OK, so then next one is uh, uh, net cost you have. OK, everything is interrelated. So you can just write down routing and after that routing you have uh, the activity put hyphen and just give the points activity. Activity comma type and score comma time. Comma. Electricity, electricity, comma, salaries, comma, rent, salaries, comma, rent, comma, total expenses, total expenses, Comma units. Comma units. Comma cost per unit. Cost per unit. Comma net cost. Cost per unit, comma net cost. Suppose all of you. Uh, we just uh, I will uh, I'm just giving you the random numbers for the soldiering activity. We have taken the time that is 30 minutes and for that 30 minutes we have that electricity bill for that particular month that is 5000 rupees. And what is the salary uh, for the uh, soldiering activity that is 10,000 rupees and what is the rent that is uh, uh, 20,000 rupees suppose. OK, I'm just giving you the random numbers and total expenses per units is um, 35,000 rupees. OK, and uh, what is the uh, per month cost for that particular units is OK, total expenses you have and then units is 250 units. OK, cost uh, cost uh, slash unit is 140 suppose. And what is the net cost for this particular thing? Um, Soldiering activities, right? So that is the 70 rupees is the net cost. OK, so what we need to do is <clears throat> we will configure this uh, bill of materials. OK, next point is configure of configuration of bill of materials. Configuration of bill of materials. Configuration of uh, bill of materials. Configuration of bill of materials. OK, the first uh, configuration step is create. Bill of material. Mm. First point is. 
create bill of material using transaction code create bill of material using transaction code cs01 create bill of material using transaction code cs01 yeah now go to the sap s for hana system and you can just give the transaction code cs01 uh, let us uh, create the bill of material for the motherboard okay all of you Mm, what is the uh, bill of material for the motherboard? Go to the word document, go up. And for this uh, motherboard, uh, so you have the material 500200. Remember, uh, go to the SAP system. Mm. Uh, 500 20, no? 200 20 is for the uh, bill of materials. And when it comes to the plant, so take out the plant. And bill of material usage is um, nothing but the other few. Uh, take out the bill of material usage. Mm. Mm, production. Take out the production. That's it. And validity from is uh, you can able to take out the today's date or else your month uh, starting date and all that is no issue all of you. OK, what we need to do is click on the enter. OK, all right, all of you. So for this particular motherboard, OK, we need to have RAM. OK, we need to have processor. We need to have silicon board with that quantities. You got my point right all of you. So what we need to do is. Uh, uh, item category go to the item category. Go to the item category. Mm, go to the drop down option. Go to the drop down option. Uh, for this item category, what we need to do is. Uh, mm, take out stock item. Take out a stock item. L. So what is the component? So for that particular component, so we have created the RAM, right? So go to the drop down option. Go to the drop down option. Mm. So what we need to do is remove it. I will uh, we will try to give the material. Go to the word document. Already we have those components, right? Uh, for this particular material. What we need to do is so you have the RAM, right? So what is that material? Take out that material. Number. Take out that material number, copy that one and paste it in this um, SAP system. OK, then next one. Take, take out the item category. Go to the drop down option. Go to the drop down option. Uh, yeah, stock items, same thing. Stock item, take out the stock item. The next one is when it comes to the component, uh, you have the processor uh, material component, right? Uh, so go to the Word document and uh, try to take out the processor. And um, uh, here one uh, triple zero double zero one double zero one six eight. Uh. Okay, so processor um, go to the SAP system. In that SAP system, you have the processor. Um, the next one is uh, item category. Next one is uh, item category. In that item category, um, what is that thing? RAM is done, processor is done, and silicon board. Okay, so what is the same thing? Stock item. Take out the stock item.
Okay, remove that uh, material and try to give this uh, process. Uh, sorry, uh, silicon board material. Try to give the silicon board material. Go to the word document. Uh, one six nine. Huh? Oh, okay, no issue. So, and after that, all of you, when it comes to these components, uh, whatever the uh, quantity that we have, we can able to give it all of you. Uh, in the quantity, you can just give one quantity. The next one uh, for this um, processor, you can just give one quantity and this uh, silicon board. We can able to give that one quantity. The next one is unit of measure. OK, go to the unit of measure. What is the unit of measure here? All of you. So go back to that particular thing. Uh, so unit of measure is no, no, no. Open the drop down option. Uh, drag it to the downside. So we have taken uh, for each and every material. We have taken each right uh, unit of measure. Drag it to the downside. Uh, take out each EA. Mm. For this one also EA. Mm. Try to give it directly. So basically all of you we have taken the item category. For this particular motherboard, OK, so we will going to have uh, three materials. One is RAM, another one is processor, another one is silicon board. So all these three materials are included in the motherboard, all of you. OK, so that is why. So we have included the uh, material with item categories and some of the components for that particular motherboard. OK, what are all those components? RAM is the component and the processor is the component and silicon board is the co component. And with that, we have given the quantity and a unit of measures. OK, so that is very, very important. Now what we need to do is click on the enter. We will going to see the components uh, descriptions and all material uh, DROH can be used with the uh, Cannot be used with the item category L. Why? Hmm. Okay, we'll go to that particular thing. Stock item is not there. Okay, go to the drop down option. Hmm. Okay, remove it. Uh, go back. Uh, go to the. Uh, I mean error. Click on the enter. Go to this error. Uh, you want to enter a new component with material type DROH. Okay, an item category L. Settings in the IMGM for production. Master data, bill of material, item data, define item categories. Determine that uh, inventory management for this um, uh, item category is to be based on quantity. Okay, however, other settings in IMG. For this, what we need to do is. Uh, basically, the material type is activated uh, for that relevant plant. OK. And uh, we need to update the quantity and check valuations uh, for that particular thing, right? Uh, so what is the DROH right for that material? Mm. Go to the transaction code OMS2. So we haven't uh, done somewhat things right now. Uh, go to the transaction code OMS2. Mm. In that OMS2, we need to take out that material type DROH right? 
Material type is DROH. Uh, continue. Uh, take out this one and go to the quantity or value updated. Because of this one, uh, we are getting the error. And go to the position and just give your valuation area that is MAL2. Go to the position. Give MAL2. Uh, continue. And make it as uh, quantity updated and value updated. Go to the separator and separate that set. Come back to that particular screen. Mm. Click on the enter. OK, what we need to do is um, uh, give slash in. Once again, come back to the transaction code CS01. Mm. Click on the enter. Mm. Give item category as L. Mm. Component 167, 168 and 169. Quantity is one. Unit of measure is EA. Mm. Click on the enter. Now it is not giving any error, right? All of you. So validity from is um, uh, 03.05.2024 and validity 2 is 31st.12.999. Why? Because all of you, uh, it has taken from the creation of the materials only. OK. And that is very, very important. See, all the dates are encapsulated OK, within the materials only. All the dates are encapsulated within the dates. If they ask you any questions on the uh, dates and all, they will just ask you the uh, dates questions. OK, so how the bill of material is uh, taking the validity to dates? OK, so you just need to say the answer that uh, uh, these dates are already encapsulated within the SAP material system. You can just say like this. OK, I mean <clears throat> whatever the words that comes into your mind. OK, you can just say those words. That is the most important thing right now. We have all of you. OK, now what we need to do is um, we are done with the processing of uh, creating of bill of materials. OK, what we need to do, go to the save button and save it. Go to the save button and save it. OK. So take out this um, uh, bill of material. OK. Take out this bill of material. Go to the or document and just oh yeah, we know it. Five five double zero two zero is the bill of material. Right to the downside. Hmm. Second step is. Second step is second. Second step is. Mm, bill of material. This is creation of bill bill of material. It is just a second step that is bill of material. Mm, put iPhone that is five double zero two zero. OK, so you have seen the uh, thing all of you. Now let us create the bill of material for the laptop also. OK, all of you. Now let us create the third point is. Create the bill of material to the laptop. Third point is create the bill of material to the laptop. Create bill of material. See to understand all these things, you have to have somewhat practice all of you. OK, so if you have three times of practice or four times of practice and all, then you can able to understand each and everything. OK. Uh, I mean, first time you will not going to get that much of uh, confidence when it comes to the product costings, cost and recounting and profits and recounting and internal order, internal order settlements. OK, profits, profitability analysis. OK, all these things are. Uh, uh, confused uh, points. OK, why? Because uh, uh, that is like that only. So it is the estimation of that particular product. So that is why you will going to get too much doubts. But uh, whenever uh, you open that uh, product costings or anything, OK, you just need to have components in your mind. So whenever you are having that particular components, OK, you get able to do it right. OK, so the next one, uh, let us uh, create the uh, bill of material for the laptop also. OK, so create bill of material for laptop. 
So first step is create bill of material uh, for uh, motherboard. So for your identifications only, I'm just giving a first point in that first point, create bill of material for motherboard. Try to write now. Create bill of material for motherboard. Then create a bill of material for laptop. Go to the uh, CS01 transaction code. So remove this material. Remove this material. Uh, go to the Word document and try to take out the laptop uh, material. Six one zero two. Laptop is uh, for this finisher goods, right? Uh, yeah. Take out that one and take out the plant and click on the enter. So now for this material, all of you, what we need to do is uh, we will going to have this. Um, some of the components. What are all those components? Uh, screen is there, keyboard is there, touchpad is there, mic is there, speakers are there and uh, motherboard is there and charger is there, right? So we have uh, all these things for that particular laptop. Mm. Uh, what is what we need to do is yeah category is sim l stock item then component is uh, this is the component screen material is the component uh, what is the screen material uh, take out the screen material go back to the sap system and try to give it and uh, go to the item category l same thing and uh, what is the next component keyboard Keyboard is the material. Um, copy this one and paste it in the SAP system. The next one item category and the next one here is touchpad. Touchpad is the material. Go to the word document and what is the touchpad? Six four. Okay, good. The next one uh, mic. Mic is. One six five. The next one is speakers. Next category is uh, speakers. Mm, LT speakers. One double six. Go up first one. Then after the speakers, you have motherboard only. Yeah. Motherboard. Go to the word document. Five double zero two zero. See for this motherboard, we have entered the bill of materials. So after the motherboard, you have somewhat things, right? In that somewhat things, um, I mean like uh, uh, what are all the included things you have um, for the motherboard? You have RAM included, you have processor included, you have silicon board included. OK, so for this laptop, uh, we have included a screen, keyboard, touchpad, mic and speaker and uh, motherboards. OK, in that motherboards, you have some more things. OK, so that is um, motherboard components. And the next one is charger. The next one is charger. Item category is L stock item. The next one uh, is components is charger in that charger. So you have uh, this thing. One triple zero double zero. One double zero seven seven zero one seven zero. OK, good. So when it comes to the quantity, so for for all these things, you have the quantities and. Uh, uh, for the screen, uh, you have one quantity. Keyboard is also one quantity. Hmm. Then uh, for touchpad is one quantity. Uh, mics we we will going to provide three mics here. Three three is the mics. The next one when it comes to the speakers, you have two speakers for the laptop allocations. You have two speakers all of you. 
the next one uh, for motherboard is one and charger is one and the con uh, I mean unit of measure is each quantity. Unit of measure is each. So try to understand the points all of you. Why? Because in real time it will be like this only. OK, what we need to do is create uh, click on the enter. Click on the enter. Uh, for the material type VHEL uh, cannot be used. Hmm. OK, go to the OMS2. And go to the material types. Go to the material types and go to the position. And in that position, the material type is VHAL. VHAL. Uh, continue. So this is the semi finished goods, right? All of you. So that's why you are getting this error. And go to the position and give your uh, uh, MAL2 valuation area. OK, we will uh, try to update our own quantities. OK, go to the subordinate and save it. That's it. Mm. Mm, what we need to do is uh, give slash in and click on the enter. Give slash in and once again come back to the CS01. Mm. For this screen, uh, screen is 162. 162. Mm. Then next one, keyboard is 163. Next one is touchpad, 164. Then next one is your mic. No, 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 no. Touchpad mic is for the 165, right? Mm. Go to the SAP system. Fourth one is mic, that is five. The next one is speakers. Speakers is six. The next one is uh, a motherboard. 5102. I think so. 500220. The next one item category that is charger. Uh, I think so 170. No? What is the charger? Charger is 170. Only. Quantity is one, one quantity. One, one. Uh, this is for the, uh, I mean for the mic it is three. Next two. In speakers are two, motherboard is one and charger is also one. Then a unit of measure is each. Take out the unit of measure that is each. Click on the enter now. Now it is not giving any uh, things right now. OK. Yeah, no issue for that motherboard. Uh, we can able to get this um, uh, tick mark. Why? Because all of you we have already entered the uh, components for that particular motherboard only right now. So that is very, very important. OK, now what we need to do is um, uh, go to the save button and save it. Go to the save button and save it. So this one is also created. Uh, bill of material has been created for the laptop also. Go back to the uh, SFS system. Yeah, sorry. Go back to the Word document and uh, just try to give uh, the creation of bill of material for the laptop is 6102. 
OK, so that we can able to get the things. Now we have created the bill of materials so for the semi finished goods and finished goods. So what are all those semi finished goods? All of you semi finished goods is nothing but the motherboard and finished goods is nothing but the laptop. So for that particular laptop, we have the components and for that semi finished goods, we have also components. You got my point, right? So now uh, put the second side heading, remove the fourth point. Uh, configuration of activity types. Remove it. No, no, no. Main heading. Main heading. Configuration of. Configuration uh, for. Configuration for activity types. Configurations for uh, activity types. And creation of secondary cost element. Configuration of activity types. And creation of secondary cost elements. OK. Make it as a bold, a bold one. Whatever the configurations that you have, make it as a bold one. OK. 